Hi, today we're going to be looking at colour correction and how you can use it to make your videos look great. So stay tuned. So we're in Final Cut Pro X and I'm going to show you the method I used to color correct the Banbury in the snow video. Now it's worth pointing out that I originally did the corrections in Final Cut Pro 7, but I thought as Final Cut Pro X is the latest version, it would probably be more useful to everyone to demonstrate it in Final Cut Pro X. Now I've picked two clips to show you. The first clip I'm going to color correct was the very first shot in the Banbury in the Snow video where you can see the sign on the outskirts of the town. Uh, the second clip was filmed at Banbury Cross looking through the legs of the horse and seeing St Mary's Church. Now I'm not sure if you can see this on your monitor but the clips look a little washed out with a blue color cast uh, and very little contrast. And this is what we will be attempting to fix. So the first thing we need to do is bring up the colour board. Uh, make sure we are on the first clip. And we're going to be using the scopes to give us an accurate representation of the colours as opposed to relying on a monitor. Now the first scope we see here is the vector scope. Uh, and that's come up because it was the last scope I used. Now we can see that there is a, a white blob slightly off center, midway between the B, which is blue, and CY, which is cyan. And that indicates there are more pixels in the image towards these tones. And we'll be looking at that in a moment. The first scope I want to bring up is the waveform monitor and the Luma in particular. As you can see from the scope, we don't have many pixels close to the 100% brightness in the image, nor do we have much black at zero. Uh, this confirms that the contrast in the clip can be improved. And this is the first thing we must always correct before considering any color changes. So we'll start by bringing down the shadows while looking at the changes we make in the waveform monitor, trying not to go too much below zero. And we'll raise the highlights a little, also making sure we don't go much over 100. I'll also bring the midtones down a bit too. Sure, I could have increased the contrast further by increasing the highlights and reducing the blacks. But I think that's fine for this example, and I think you get the idea. In fact, the image is already looking a lot better. Now we'll look at the RGB parade in the waveform monitor, and you can see we have a lot of blue in the highlights and midtones of the image with less red. And I'm going to try and balance this out. So now, if we go to the color board and select color, we will start by bringing down the blue in the shadows, but not very much, only a little bit, uh, as it's the midtones and the highlights that need more blue reduced. So now we do a similar in the midtones, but slightly closer to the cyan. If you can remember, we had more blue and cyan showing in the vector scope, and we'll do the same to the highlights. If we now compare the original to the corrected one, we will see the effect the changes have had, and you can see it looks a lot more inviting. I'll now also look at the vector scope to make the last few changes. Now the vector scope shows all colors in the clip. However, what I'm looking for is the blob in the middle to be as close to the middle as possible. So let's go back to the color correction board and try and do that now. 
and we'll make slight changes to the midtones and the highlights until the blob moves roughly to the center. And there we go. The picture looks uh, much better now. I'll just take a look at the RGB parade again and that looks fine. Although I probably could bring the shadows down a little bit more in the exposure, but I think we'll go with that for now. Now we need to do the same process for all the clips in the video. However, if the other clips in the video are shot at roughly the same time of day under similar lighting conditions, we can generally copy the correction we did in one clip and paste it into the into another. Then we can make fine adjustments and that should save us quite a lot of time. So we will start by selecting the first clip, then hold down Option, Command and C for copy. Select the second clip, then Option, Command, V to paste in the correction and we should have the second clip corrected. Yep, that's pretty good. Although I'm getting a feeling we are a little bit on the bright side on this clip. So we'll take a look at the Luma again, select the exposure and bring the highlights down a little. Bring up the shadows slightly and bring down the midtones too. Bearing in mind I would like it to match the first clip and not be a sudden jump in exposure. And I think that's looking good. Let's take a final look at the vector scope again. And you can see we are pretty much there. It's worth pointing out that in the final video, I left more blue in the clips to give the effect of a colder day, but that's pretty much how I went about color correcting the Banbury and the Snow video. I would probably finish off now by using a broadcast safe filter, but for this example, going to the web, I think it's fine. So there you go. That's how I color corrected the Banbury and the Snow video. If you like what you've seen in this video and you'd like to learn more, then please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Yeah.